I gotta start this with an announcement. The whole Bang energy drink meme that I've had going on the channel for a while, it's over, okay? It's done. I regretted doing it in the first place. I don't know why I did it. It's cringe and it's done. I'm not gonna stop drinking them though because they're good. <laughs> Besides, this one's pretty much empty anyway. So there's no need to worry about that anymore. <laughs> Some of you might remember last year I made a video about this game. I said that I had found the worst Switch game of all time. But then, just a couple months later, this game released on Switch, and I said this. <laughs> Terrible. But I may have found something very special. <laughs> My little riding champion. Oh, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Another horse riding Switch game. Believe it or not, these two games aren't related in any way. The question is, is this one as bad as this one? Let's go ahead and load this game up and see if it's actually any good. Okay, you know what? This is actually more like it. We have some nice crisp visuals, got some relaxing music, and it's actually a good audio file too. You guys remember what the music in this game sounded like? It was like they downloaded all of their audio assets from LimeWire in 2004. <coughs> okay, so it sounds good, but I gotta be honest, the lack of effort in the menu font here, kind of a bad omen. I'm pretty sure that's the Vedana font, if that's how you pronounce that, Vedana, Vedana. It's the same font that Microsoft uses for all of their products by default. So right away, it looks like they made at least the menu screen for this game in Microsoft Word. Okay, okay, that's enough about the menu screen. Let's actually start a new game and, uh, oh wow, this loading screen actually looks good. Ladies and gentlemen, we might actually be in for a treat. Here. Look at those mountains. Look at that waterfall. I love it. This is beautiful. We might actually have found trash. Nope. Yep. Yeah, we, we found trash. Also during the loading screen, I heard this harp string dream sequence sound effect. I don't understand what that was for. Are we supposed to be in a dream right now? And why did it play in the middle of the loading screen? Oh no, <laughs> no, this isn't a dream. This is a freaking nightmare. Look at that tree. Why does the one on the right look fine, but this tree looks like God sneezed? At least we have actual voice acting this time around. I can use the displayed control at any time to open the mission booklet and see what I still have to do. Well, although I kind of wish it didn't. Is this the same chick that voices Alexa? Alexa, how do I talk to that guy over there? To talk to him, I have to go into the marker next to him and use the displayed control. Okay, for Alexa, interact. stop. Hey, what are you, born in a barn? Close that front door, you're letting the flies in. Okay, the first positive thing I have to say, the controls in this game, yeah, it's actually pretty good. You remember in uh, this one, it had that Resident Evil 1 take controls? This time around, it actually feels smooth and like it has some weight behind it. All right, I, I guess I'm supposed to talk to this guy over here first, but I really want to see that sneezed out tree a little bit closer up. Oh no, <laughs> what? All right, okay, I get it. I guess that that tree only needs to render in when you're up close to it, so it saves on processing power and all of that mumbo jumbo. But what I don't get is that that is their non-rendered in placeholder tree. It looks like a Bob Ross painting gone wrong. Also, I'm only like 10 feet from this thing. It can't handle it at this distance why is that tree on the right still fine what did you do to the right tree that you couldn't have done to the left tree whatever I'm moving past the trees let's just say I'm gonna leave them alone I'm Frank and I was a very good friend of your uncle's have you looked around yet hello Frank my trip was fine Someone please give this woman an Oscar. <laughs> the emotion behind that greeting. Hello Frank. My trip was fine. Hello Frank. Have you looked around yet? Have you looked around yet? Wow, well, how do you do? How are you? Do you see the longish building next to the house? That's the stable for your horses. Do you see the longish building next to the house? I, I don't know, you mean the one we're standing in front of, Frankie boy? <laughs> it's kind of hard to miss. You see that small shed over there next to my house? That's the one. 
okay, we've been having some fun so far. I've been laughing, screaming, yelling, and all of that. But if we can, just take a second to appreciate some parts of this game. Like, you know, it has a nice spring atmosphere to it. I appreciate the birds are chirping, the trees are doing whatever that is. And the grass is, um, swimming? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, someone animated that and was like, yeah, that's what grass does. Great. Is there a riding club here? I've loved riding since I was a kid. Oh, so I'm now noticing that the uh, mouths aren't animated while people are talking in this game. They just kind of stand there, subtly moving their arms while talking, like this. It's pretty creepy. But I am thirsty, so I'm gonna grab this Bang Energy drink and uh, stare directly into the camera with my soulless eyes while I drink it. Welcome to my little riding champion. All right, this bit isn't as funny as I was hoping. Oh no, I have to find my horse again? I'm getting flashbacks to riding stables. Actually, this whole game is set up exactly the same with the same premise. You just kind of spawn into this green field in the middle of the stables. You get told to find your horse. You have a house in which you can sleep in and change your outfit. Why did we need two of these? So far, I'm finding no differences between them. Oh, wait, hold on. Dang, look at the size of that map. Is this an open world game? Dang, girl, you're giving Red Dead Redemption a run for its money. Just ignore the insane amount of pop-in and frame rate issues that are happening on my screen right now because I'm really sick of talking about that in all of these games. Can we make a pact just to ignore it? <laughs> I won't tell if you don't. Okay, so I just got done naming my horse and then this chick called Cornelia barges in out of nowhere and uh, I, I just... <laughs> I don't know if this is funny to anyone else, but after she says her first line, there's this perfectly awkward pause in the dialogue as she trots up here. Let's get well. What have we here? Oh, hello. <laughs> I don't know why I find this so funny. I'm Luisa, and who are you? Who am I? I'm just the five-time winner of the big annual show jumping tournament. Cornelia's my name. I'm sure you've heard of me. Do you know who I am? Lottie da Cornelia. I didn't mean that to rhyme. I can already tell that we're not supposed to like this chick, but so far I love everything about her. <laughs> you don't really want to compete against me, do you? Do you actually think that you have even a slight chance against me? Slight chance against me? Oh, Cornelia comes at us hard with the insults. And all our girl Louisa has to say in return is, I'm determined to participate. Wow, Louise, really setting the bar of life high for yourself. Ha, don't make me laugh. <laughs> okay, well that wasn't really a laugh. Sounded more like you had something stuck in the back of your throat. <coughs> I'm sure you don't even know how to ride a horse right, and that you can steer it with the displayed controls. Well, we sure know now, Cornelia. You're falling for our greatest trap yet. And you certainly don't know that every time the displayed control is activated, the horse chooses a faster gait. There she goes again! Listen, Cornelia, loose lips sink ships. I love that Cornelia is all of a sudden aware that she's partaking in a video game. And every time the displayed control is pressed, its gait gets slower. Again. I love that you can tell this Mima reading the lines has no idea what she's saying, like at all. She barely managed to get through that last line. And I bet you've never heard that the displayed control gets the horse to jump either. Okay, Cornelia, now you're just spilling the entire can of beans. The second positive thing I have to say about this game so far is that it actually has little collectible golden horses around the map. It just kind of feels like a little bit extra effort went in. They went around and hid some horses in different locations. Second positive, collectibles. Oh jeez, it's time to clean the horse. Honestly, this part is as stupid as last time. You can just smash the brush or sponge in one spot and it counts as cleaning the entire horse. But at least this time around, you can clean the entire horse in about 30 seconds and move on. I guess that's another advantage it has. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's finally time to practice horse riding. And you know what? 
It's really not that bad this time around. I'm nailing all of these jumps. I'm, I'm crushing it right now. I actually did that on my first attempt. Yeah, maybe I'm a little overexcited because I literally couldn't figure out how to jump a hurdle in this one. Maybe it's not a good bar of comparison to have, but I, I, I am impressed with it so far in comparison. I do wonder though, between this game and this game, is it really that easy to jump a hurdle? Is it that easy to clean your horse just by scrubbing one spot? Like how realistic are these games really? I mean, there's only one way to find out. Sure. Do I hold this thing still? Yeah. All right, where am I going? So in the game, um, you just do it in one spot and it cleans the entire horse. How realistic is that on a scale of one to 10? Like if I just did this one spot, is he going to get clean? Negative five. <laughs> I mean, maybe if you keep cleaning that side, he'll get clean. I, how am I, am I, is this okay? Great, yeah. Okay. And that doesn't include his feet if you want to pick his hooves out. Oh yeah, we have to do that. That's in, that's in the game. I already know how to do that. The game taught me everything I needed to know. <laughs> so, so far I've learned you can't just brush one spot. Um, other than that, super realistic. Well, there is barrel racing in the game, but I don't, I'm not jumping anything. <laughs> that much I know. That's easy, you just stay in the middle of the horse. <laughs> <laughs> what, they automatically jump on their own? They really do, yeah. Really? Uh -huh. Then why am I pressing buttons in the game? <laughs> well, because and it's not that easy. You have to squeeze your legs to help them balance. You have to be in the right spot. But hmm. the basic gist of it is you just stay in the middle. I don't remember if you brush the hair in the game. Um, so I can't actually tell you how accurate this is, but it's fun. I know exactly how to do this. Okay, well then give it a shot. But don't go anywhere. <laughs> Stay very nearby. Stay right here. Do his front feet. Okay, so um, is it like a command? This they didn't teach me. See, in the game, the foot just comes towards your face. So, sorry. <laughs> that's okay. No, that's good. <laughs> Getting it all over you. You get all the dirt out on either side of it. There was no rocks. See, I was expecting rocks because in the game, it was like pebbles. Yeah, there's all kinds of rocks. So I'm out of my element here, but, but no, I think I nailed that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's enough horsing around. Time to get back to the game. That was really fun. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, where was I? Oh, jeez. Oh, the character customization ain't bad. I'm gonna make her a punk rocker, I think. You know, this really ain't a bad looking place you got here, Louisa. That uh, freaking massive rug really ties the room together. Okay, so now we're actually going to enter this competition that Louisa was determined to participate in. And I'm gonna try really hard to win because I feel like our girl Louisa here is in a really bad place in life and she just, she needs a victory right now. The competitor with the best time wins and qualifies automatically for the next competition. Uh, a, a lady? You're actually, um... Hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, lady. You're actually not p petting your horse there. You're, you're kind of just hovering your hand over it. You, are you feeling okay? The competitor with the best time wins and qualifies automatically for the next competition. And I love that the crowd has such an extreme reaction to my success or failure. <laughs> Wait a second, what crowd? There's no one here. Ah, damn it, I suck at this. It's okay, I'll try it again. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess y'all didn't see me back there. It wasn't my best attempt. Thank you very much. Good to know. Honestly, at this point, I can't tell if she sounds more like a robot or a foreigner struggling to understand the language. Oh no, it's my favorite character again, strolling in out of nowhere. Louisa, you are aware that the audience belongs in the stands and not in the tournament grounds, right? Like, what, what does that even mean? Is she trying to throw shade at us right now? I legitimately don't understand what that means. As you can see, I'm a competitor, not a spectator. Oh, I see. She's trying to say that we don't belong in the competition. Man, lady, what's your problem? You're pretty mean. Who hurt you? I didn't expect to find such an evil antagonist in a game that's for kids about riding horses. Although to be fair, she's still my favorite character. As you can see, I'm a competitor, not a spectator. Uh, are you serious? 
I thought you got lost. I'm competing as an official member of the Ross Hain Equestrian Association. Don't make me laugh. That club is further from victory than the earth from the sun. This is for Louisa because damn, that was a sick burn. Don't make me laugh. Your club is further from victory than the earth from the sun. I'm gonna clean this ice. It's gonna make everything wet. The class is called beginner for a reason because that's all you are. So you better quit right now. Okay, I'm done with Cornelia's insults. It's just one after another like machine gun fire. I'm leaving this conversation. Let's do some exploring. Oh, is that a waterfall on the map? That's gotta be the place from the load screen. I haven't seen that yet and it looked gorgeous. It might be the best looking part of the game. So I have to see that before I stop playing. Huh, you know, it was, it was prettier in the brochure. <laughs> I've definitely seen worse horse riding games on the Switch. I wouldn't call this a, a, a terrible game. It's not great, but it's much better than my riding stables. And this is still the worst game on the Switch. I kind of like my little riding champion. I don't even think my horse riding days are behind me. In fact, no, you know what? I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. 